Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's been on our minds a lot recently. Yay! And that is... Babies! Babies! <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about babies. Mm -hmm. In our last video, uh, we showed a little prenatal bottle. Ooh, prenatal pills, because your girl is taking those now. Yeah, so we got <laughs> lots of questions there. Lots of questions. But before... Our neighbors dropped off some cookies, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna eat some cookies real quick. You're gonna eat some cookies yes. while, we're, while we're talking? Well, not while we're talking, but isn't this so nice? I forget, like, having a house, like, you have neighbors who give you gifts and stuff. Like, yeah. this is the first time, so I'm like, what do you do for your neighbor? Like, oh, we could do fudge. That's fudge. a Christmassy thing. Yeah. We could do fudge for the neighbors. Look at this! So cute! Too. I love that. They didn't tell us who it's from, so we're eating cookies. We have no clue who they're from, but is we'll that, get back is that to y'all. You're going for it? Dad mm. came over earlier and he tested them, so. He didn't die, so they're safe. We don't know yet. That's true. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the big question is, are we ready for kids? Yeah, and are we going to be able to have kids? Mm -hmm. That's and, also a question. Yeah, and when, a, when are we gonna start trying to have kids? Yes. That is another question. Which one should we answer first? I don't know, which one's more pressing? Let's answer that one last. <laughs> the, okay, the most pressing last. Are we ready for kids? Let's answer can we have kids first. Let's... Okay, that's fair. Yeah, let's do that It doesn't one. make sense to talk about it if we can't have kids. Yeah. So, we do know, well, we don't know for sure if we can have kids because we haven't done literal like fertility testing mm, yet. No. What we do know at this point is I, I'm not going to use the EJ word, but... <laughs> he thinks it's a weird word. It's just, it's weird. It's like <laughs> moist. I don't like it. Um, but I, I know that I can deliver the seed. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Is that you fair? You can deliver the seed. Yes, that's fair. Yes. So we don't know how well my swimmers can swim, mm -hmm. but we know that my swimmers can be put in a position to swim where they need to swim. Yes. That's a, that's That was a great analogy. Was that good? That was good. That was right. good. Yeah. That was good. We're, we're going to try naturally for a while. Mm -hmm. um, see what happens. If it comes to the point where something's going wrong or we're not accomplishing anything, then we'll need to do like some tests to see if my swimmers are swimming at all. If your eggs are ready for my swimmers. Yeah. The question of can we have kids, at this point, we believe it's yes. We're hoping it's yes. Right. Naturally. Naturally, we're right, speaking. Right, right, right. We mean naturally. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go down that route first. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going to try that for a while because we don't want to jump into a bunch of extracurricular things if we don't need to. Yeah, and a bunch of doctor's appointments. Like, yeah, we want to put mm -hmm. that on hold for a little bit. And we do know that if we cannot have kids naturally, there are other options mm -hmm. like that are less invasive than IVF. Um, but we don't really know all of our options yet because we haven't gone to to doctor to talk about it. So we have no clue, but we know that they, there are options. Mm -hmm. And if we can't have kids at all, mm -hmm. which would be really sad, if we can't have kids at all, then we will adopt a child. We yeah. like, we want a kid, you know, no matter if it's naturally or not, we want a kid. Yes, so. absolutely. Now the second question, mm -hmm. if we are ready to have kids, I feel like that's kind of loaded. Yeah, who's ever really ready to have kids? Right, like I, I've been thinking about that a lot mm -hmm. and like I can't think of a single parent, like a first time parent who was like, oh yeah, I had a kid and it was like nothing. You yeah. know, it was exactly what I expected. It was even yeah. easier than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's always like, man, it was so much more. There's this, there's that, there's no sleep. I'm exhausted mm -hmm. all the time. It's like, I haven't had any parent have a, or I don't know any parent have, I don't know any parent who has mm -hmm. had a kid and said, oh yeah, I was so ready for that. Mm -hmm. I was, I was ready for everything that came along with it. Because for the most part, I feel like you don't really ever know until you have a kid. Yeah. And so we see comments saying like, oh, they're moving fast or they're not ready. Mm -hmm. We even have comments telling us that we shouldn't have kids. Like... First of all, That's that is, place. <laughs> yeah, that is no one else's place but ours and our decision. And we know where we stand mm -hmm. and we know what we want. And so we see comments saying, oh, I can't wait for you guys to have kids. So exciting, pushing for babies. Mm -hmm. We are ne neither influenced by people's anticipation for us to have kids, nor by people telling us not to have kids. Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we know that it's our decision. And so no matter what kind of influence we have coming at, our, coming at us or coming in our ears, at the end of the day, we choose our own decision. So. Right, right. So, I mean, at, yeah, and also at the end of the day, we'll know how ready we are when mm -hmm. that day comes. Yeah. You know, so. it's a leap. And we've taken a lot of leaps this year. We got married, we moved into a house. Yeah. 
I mean, who's to say whether we were actually ready to do those things, but we did and I feel like we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we are you know? doing pretty good. I mean, marriage is marriage. If you're married, you know what married life is like. And yeah. so every, we have our challenges and same with having a house and same with having Sophie. Mm -hmm. There are gonna be challenges and we are a team and we're gonna face them together. Right, and that's what it's all about. Mentally, it's hard to know if you're gonna be ready for kids and that's just the truth. Mm -hmm. But I think there are other aspects in our lives where we could say, yes, we're ready for a kid. So we have a house, we have mm -hmm. two rooms for babies. Like financially, I think we both agree that we're at a great place. In terms of that, I think we know more of an answer than mentally, because right. it's hard to prepare for kids mentally, it really mm -hmm. is. It is, but <laughs> something else that we picked up from talking to the first time, and well, just parents in general, mm -hmm. is almost universally parents say that their child is the best thing to ever happen to them. Yeah. And I know that I'm ready for that kind of love. I know that I'm ready to share my world with somebody, mm -hmm. raise someone, try to teach them, you know, about the beauties in the world and how to be a good person and like that stuff didn't just put a smile on my face just thinking mm -hmm. about it. I'm ready for that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for all the other stuff that comes along with it. Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. We're not going to know until then. Yeah. But I know I'm ready for that kind of love. Mm -hmm. No, me too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can kind of feel that joy having so Sophie. Yeah. And you know, Sophie's a dog. It's so very different from a child um, because we can get a lot of like more feedback from a child than we mm -hmm. get a dog. And so I think that would only make it better. But we have so much joy with her that I can't imagine how much joy we'll have with a child. Yeah. Obviously, it would be harder. No right. question. And we picked up that too from uh, quad dads out there. Like mm -hmm. I I've had messages and emails from other quad dads who said, yeah, man, like I'll level with you. It was really hard the first one, two years. Like, and there were times where I felt like I couldn't do as much as I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And it was very stressful and it led to arguments, all of that. Yeah. But they also said, once we got through that, once we got into a rhythm, a routine, once we figured things out, there's nothing more beautiful. Hearing that from the quad dads makes me feel a little bit better about the whole enterprise. Yeah. Um, because that's, I, I want it, I, I want it, I want it. Yeah, you'd be yeah. good, such a good dad. Oh, such I hope. a good dad. <laughs> you yeah, I hope. You will, you will. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that leads to the final question then. Yes, but before that, I feel like I hear something coming from the kitchen. Yeah, I heard that too. You want me to go check? Yeah, I can check on that. One second. Hello? Is someone there? Oh. Oh, hey, Charisma. Oh, hey, Charisma. Uh, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm just making some HelloFresh. Cool. All right, well, I guess I'll get back to bed then. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi. What's up? How'd you get here? I teleported. All right, then. <laughs> well, I was going to say, thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Yes, we've been getting HelloFresh for a while now. We are really enjoying it. Tonight, it looks like we're having a delicious beef ragu spaghetti. And the cool thing about HelloFresh is everything we need is right here. It cuts out those trips to the grocery store, which on average, by the way, take at least 41 minutes. This entire meal is going to be cooked in less than that. Yeah, so HelloFresh cuts out the stresses of meal planning and meal prepping, mm -hmm. and then you can have a meal on your table in 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Mm -hmm. With HelloFresh, their pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food, which is always great. You can also easily change your delivery days or food preference and skip a week whenever you need. Something we especially love about HelloFresh is they have donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019. And this year, they're stepping up their food donations even more amid the coronavirus mm. crisis. That is delicious. Really good. Really good. This beef ragu spaghetti is awesome. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see myself eating this in the future. Yeah. If y'all want to check out HelloFresh, which I think you should. Yes. Use discount code Cole and Charisma 80. Again, that's Cole and Charisma 80. And that'll give you $80 off. Yes, and the link is in our description below. All right, we'll hand it back to Cole and Charisma and let them finish their top. Yes, <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> Wow, Cole and Charisma are eating well in there. That Seriously. looks delicious. I know. Should we go join or should we finish I, this video? Well, mm, <laughs> let's let's finish the video. Okay, let's answer that one question everyone's curious about. Yes. Question number three, are we trying? And the answer is <laughs> drum roll. Yes. Yes? yes. <laughs> I think it's a yes. Yes, so yeah. people saw their prenatal pills, like we were mm -hmm. mentioning, and they were like, Oh my gosh, people take that when they're pregnant. So I think she's pregnant and no, 
like we said earlier, yeah. I'm not pregnant, but we are trying. And mm -hmm. so we were told to take prenatal pills a few months mm -hmm. before starting to try so that that folic acid and all that stuff is in my body and just to try to prepare my body for, you know, yeah. to carry a child. I don't know anything about that stuff. Yeah. I just say, oh, okay, sounds good. <laughs> but you are also, we're both preparing in different ways to get ready to have a child and to increase our fertility. So drinking lots yeah. of water. Right, so like I, I'm chugging water every night. I'm <laughs> trying to exercise more. Yeah. I'm trying to manage my stress because I do get stressed out at times. Yeah, same. So uh, we're both taking measures to just try to improve our chances. In the context of our relationship, I think it's very important that we do whatever we can to yeah. increase our odds because we acknowledge that it might be a challenge. It might be something that's really, really hard for us, which yeah. is part of the reason we want to get started now. Yep. I know. It's like we just got married and we're like now trying to have kids. I know. And it is early, but truth be told, we're not sure how long it's going to take. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of my girlfriends who are married said that they tried for several months before actually getting pregnant. And so we're Even not longer than that exactly. in some cases. Yeah. So we're not expecting to be like for me to be pregnant next month. Like, I mean, no. if that were the case, woo, that'd be amazing. All right, here we go. We um, better be ready. <laughs> But no, we, we're going to try naturally mm -hmm. for a year or so around next year. And then if nothing happens, then we'll go to the doctor and at least we'll have that information that this is what we did. This is how long we tried for. So like, they're not going to say, oh yeah, you should try first. You know, we, we're right. already past that step. That's <laughs> an important point because it would be a real bummer if we, we kind of waited until we felt like we were quote ready, even though mm -hmm. I don't know that we'll ever really just feel super ready. Yeah. It would suck if we waited so long and then we're at 30 and then we go in and be like, Oh, the doctor tells us we got to wait or we got to try for, you know, another year, two years naturally before yeah. we start taking measures. And then all of a sudden we're 35 yeah. and we're still trying to have a kid. It's like, yeah. I just, I don't want that to happen. Like I want to, I want to get the ball rolling Absolutely. and get ahead of the game, figure things out now. Yeah, I don't think the doctor's ever going to tell us to try for two years, so that's a long time, Cole. All right, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, learning. Naturally. I'm still learning, all right? I'm going to get some books. I'm going to figure it out. I know. It's it's a lot, and it's funny because I remember we both said this. Like, we remember, like, in family life in high school and middle school, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, yeah, like, you get pregnant so easily. And Yeah, I swear, like, in high school, they made it seem like one and done. Yeah. Then, now I'm learning that's not the case. No. Wait, we shouldn't like tell high schoolers. Yeah, to yeah. <laughs> well, it can be the case. It yeah. can be. But for most people, it takes a couple of months of trying to have a kid to actually have a kid. And like timing with yes. the whole... Ovulation. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't These words are weird. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're, we're taking measures. So yeah, I have ovulation test strips and all this stuff. So we're figuring out like the best... Thing. I mean, you hear so much. Like, people are like, oh, in my experience, I did this. You should try this. In my experience, I did this. You should try this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, each couple is different. Like, one thing may work for a couple that may not work for another couple that may or may not work for us. So, I love hearing the suggestions from people, but I definitely do. We do a lot of research to see what makes sense because... I mean, there are a lot of things that are like, oh, really good. And some people are like, oh, don't do that. It's not safe. So, mm -hmm. oh, that's so stressful figuring out. I know. There's so much information out there. It's mm -hmm. kind of information overload. And we're just trying to weed through what makes sense for us mm -hmm. and then navigate from there. Yeah. But yeah, the answer is we're going for it. Yes. And I guess you kind of are wondering what our parents think. Are they huh. excited? Well, yeah, I, I know that they're excited. Yes. They've already made subtle hints, more so like our moms than our dads. Yeah, mostly moms. <laughs> yeah, but I would like to say too, part of the reason I think that we, like maybe even if we aren't 100% ready, mm -hmm. we have family right here and we have parents that went through it and in my opinion, raised some good kids mm -hmm. on both <laughs> sides. And yeah. so we, we have them as a resource and that's mm -hmm. a very comforting thing to keep in the back of our mind. Ooh, yeah, through that. <laughs> I know. And I'll be 27, 27. So mm -hmm. people are like, oh, you guys are so young. And I'm thinking like, what? Mm -hmm. My mom had three kids by the time she was 27. Yeah, she and, did great. Yeah. And I know a lot of people who had at least one kid before the age of 27. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of people are having kids and getting married yeah. later in life. It's a whole new Yeah. World. But I'm about to be 27. And yeah. That's not very young in terms of like childbearing age. I mean, once I hit 30, things start changing and I got three years before that. So, right. I mean, I don't think 
I do not feel like I'm too young at all. I mean, we have a house, we're married. I think we are doing very well for our age. Mm -hmm. And I feel very confident in our us. Yeah. So we will kind of talk about the journey, but not that much. Just because, you know, let's say I do get pregnant next month. I think for, you know, the first few months, like we want to keep that between us, our family and our close friends. So we mm -hmm. have that special moment, like, ooh, like mm -hmm. embrace it before we share it with everyone else, just because it's very personal. I actually just kind of want to keep it a secret until I start showing. So I don't know, <laughs> it could be six months and then we're like, oh yeah, Christmas due in three months. <laughs> She loves looking in the mirror and she's like, you think my belly's gonna be more up here or like down here? And is it gonna get really big? Am I gonna lose my abs? Um, yeah, I'm gonna lose my abs, well, so baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I know, it makes me really excited. I'm like super excited to be pregnant and then super Whenever she talks me. about it, she starts getting all giddy. She's like, oh, well, I, I just can't wait. And oh my gosh, we have so many friends having babies, like. You got baby have, fever. I know, I have three friends, I think. Three, yeah, three. Good friends, y'all. This baby fever is real. Yeah. Really real. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. God willing, hopefully, you know, it'll happen sooner than later. Yeah. But if not, we are gonna. I think it'll just make us stronger, and we'll figure out a solution. And mm -hmm. where there's a will, there's a way. That's what I yes, like to say. Absolutely. Dang, that rhymed really well. <laughs> well done, babe. Thank you. You're a rhymer. <laughs> also, I just thought about it. So Cole and I kind of already picked our kids' names. Obviously, uh, that could change. And this is one of them. <laughs> How do you, what do y'all think about oh that? Do you like God. that? <laughs> no, but I'm curious, like what kind of names do y'all have? Like we kind of think about, oh, maybe we should do more C names. And then we're like, oh, maybe we should switch it up. Still not telling you what we're doing. We haven't told we anyone got, our kids' names. We ideas though. We do have <laughs> ideas, but yeah. Tell us what cool. y'all think. Tell us some good C names, because I can't find a yeah. A lot of C names besides the typical ones. Crescendo? How about that? Crescendo. Uh-huh. You like that? Mm, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm never suggesting another name again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully this journey happens quicker than we have been anticipating. So we will see. Yeah. Time we will, will tell. We will see. Hope that answers some questions. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay, stay pregnant. Positive. positive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Bye.